What is going on, you lovely ladies and gentlemen of the world? As you can see, we're here with some Tekken 7. I have not given up. It's just, it's taking, it's really difficult. <laughs> this is really hard. I feel like at this point, I can easily pick up, pretty much, I shouldn't say easily, but I can pick up fairly rapidly any 2D fighting game on the market. It'll take me a little bit of time to get used to the nuance of each individual game, learning the characters, that kind of thing, but ultimately, I get it, right? It would make sense in my head. This game doesn't. Nothing about it makes sense. I don't understand a goddamn thing. Number one, the first biggest and most difficult aspect to get used to for me is blocking high and reacting low. Obviously, it's the opposite in uh, 2D, in most 2D fighting games. But in this one, you want to generally be blocking. I mean, also, you want to be constantly moving around, and that's also a really difficult aspect. Anyway, I don't want to get too far into it. As you can see, we got some Fakuram. We also have Jin, who is another character I wish I could play, but I don't got the execution for that. So we're playing the easy mode character. Do I sound? I do. It's just really, really low on my end. Basically, that's why right there. I can't do Electrical Wind God Fist. I can't do that shit. But yeah, I'm mostly here. Ooh, that counter hit though, get fucked! Damn, that was a hell of a quick. I just did half his health right there. Oh my, is he dead? He did. Oh, he dropped the combo. I was gonna say like he just took 50% of his life from what? I'm here for fucking Rob, by the way. <laughs> But still, like, that movement, man, is just so damn crisp. I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to do that for ages. But yeah, this is mostly what I want to see. I want to see this pressure. I want to see how he handles block strings and whatnot. That was a nice whiff punish. Ooh, very nice. Gets the wall splat, but fucks up the wall combo. Because this is... I don't know exactly how old this is. I can check it out uh, after this. But I'm pretty sure this was fairly early on. Like, this is old-ish. Ooh, what did he get off? What was that? I'm gonna need to check that out because I've just been doing that. Was started with back one, which causes the knockdown, but off of that, I've just been doing his forward, forward, one plus two. But that looked way better than doing that. So yeah, I mean, this is a video that I'm gonna be revisiting. This jet, like the the move, the way that these people they make the characters look so fast. And for me, I make every character look like Gigas. What the fuck was that? Why did he just strike a pose? But yeah, I make every character look like Gigas. It's not a good look. <laughs> Arslan Ash is getting his ass whooped right now. Ooh. Oh, doesn't get a combo off it. I wonder if that's just plus on block then? Like, it's kind of interesting that he would use that when you don't get... Yeah, you, know, you don't really get rewarded for it. Oh, he has a micro dash. That's why I couldn't figure it out and figure anything better out because you have to micro dash first. I can't do that shit. <laughs> we, uh, me and micro dashes don't get along, man. I'm never gonna be able to do that. <laughs> is his? But is Jin's? Ow! Also, that vacuum effect looks super weird. But damn, dude, Jen is popping out some damage. Whoo. Um, crap, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, is Jen's electric wind god fist a high? Because it, I'm not it might have just been a completely different move. But I'm pretty sure I just saw fucking Rom duck it. And I thought they were mids. Maybe they're all highs. Maybe that's the point. And that's why they're so plus is because you can duck them. That's usually that's a fairly common element in the game. A lot of high hitting moves. Well, I shouldn't say a lot of high-hitting moves. Most of the moves that are plus in this game tend to be high because you can duck them. That's the response to them. But obviously, if you duck, you're running the risk of getting smacked in the face by a mid. That was a different combo route. That was a really good combo route, too, uh, taking into account the corner. That's another thing that's going to take a lot of time for me to adjust to is understanding my spacing properly and not autopiloting a combo that works mid-screen but doesn't work when I'm going to be smacking somebody into the corner. Oh! Punishable, a little bit. <laughs> that counter hit. Oh, this Jin is popping off, and I did like. I'm here for the fucking Rom, but I'm actually getting more interested in Jin. I do like that though. I really like Fakum Ron's feints. That must be plus as hell. The spacing on it makes it so he can't really do anything off of it, but just from the looks of it, that's mad plus. Jesus. Get hell swept. See you later. 
This gym is nutty. I really like it. Like, high level Tekken is something else. It really is one of the most enjoyable fights because it's, it's so smooth. Like, there really aren't any fighting games right now that have this degree of just. I don't want to say smoothness, but like fluidity in the gameplay. That's just lacking overall. A lot of the gameplay these days is kind of slow, kind of cumbersome, and that's by design because people think. Uh, in general that like the slower at least the developers seem to think that the slower a game is the easier it's going to be and they want it to be Simple they want it to be easy so that more people so that people aren't intimidated and they're not picking up the game Oh my god, you want to talk about damage? They need to make stages bigger man like The amount of damage you get when you get somebody on the wall like the, he's just dead I mean to be fair that is a super But still like Wall splat, death. Seems to be a very common trend right now. But yeah, this I'm, like, I'm just gonna have to watch this constantly because obviously that's one of the main things about fighting games in general is that you miss a lot of the nuance depending on your level. The better you get at the fighting game, the more you get out of watching high level gameplay like this. And right now, like I don't know all of Fakum Rong's strings. I don't know any of Jen's strings. So like, I'm not really getting the full depth of, like, I'm not getting the full complexity of all of their actions. Oh, ho, 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 Jesus. His back forward four is fucking vicious and I love it. Oh, the wall spike, is he dead? No, not quite. That was a weird side swap. Nice duck. But yeah, like I, like I said, I'm mostly here just to see what kind of block strings he runs. But like I, half of the block strings he's using, I don't even know what chains he's actually using. I like that chain more than the one that, because the tradi the combos that I'm doing, uh, they don't use that for the spiral. They use the four three four, or no? Is it four three four? No, it's three four four. But I kind of like that spiral more. Is he going to run this back? The way this dude's been playing. Oh, he whiffed the uh, potential corner combo. It's a damn shame. That's another flaw. It's somewhat similar to one of my... I don't consider it really a flaw in this game because it's smooth enough and it's kind of more or less on you. Like, it's not as bad, but in Mortal Kombat, like, you ha if you want to do a combo, you have to just mash out the inputs. You can't really hit confirm in that game. Uh, and that's kind of what happened to him, as he just went through the entire chain. Fucking Rom has a parry, apparently. I was not aware of that. Oh, nice sidestep. That was sick. I need to learn, because this man has, like, four different potential... Oh, not four different. He has like I think he has two different rage arts and two different I can't remember what that specific one is called when it's not the super version. But it's just generally the very plus version. I can't remember the specific name of that. But I think he has two different versions of each one that he can do. And so I wonder if that's kind of like a, a mix up where he can either go low or he can go maybe mid or high, I don't know. Nice very nice low block. Gets the launch punish off of that low. I kind of equate in my mind a lot of... Because most lows in this game tend to be punishable, as you're seeing. Like, every time these people block a low, they're getting a punish for it. Um, It's almost like parrying in third strike. Where, like, most of the time it's not reactionary it's not something you like you're doing and you know it's gonna work you just assume like right here's a good time for them to throw out a low if i block it i get a pretty big punch pretty goddamn big punish look at that he's all the way to the wall i think that might have been a case i saw something on reddit oh he gets the low faint um with specific spacing on that particular type of combo when they kind of delay hit the wall like that you can combo in uh fakum rom's unblockable for just ridiculous damage and i'm pretty sure that was a case where he might have been able to do it nice spacing by the gen that damage though my god Very 
nice one mid. Round four. Fight. That's another thing that I really like about this game. Is like you're basically just running intimidation on like you just run into somebody's face and you don't press a button, you don't do anything, you just exist. And like you have to respect it. That's not really something that exists in most other fighting games. Like, the movement is just so important. It's kind of, I mean, I think one of the reasons why I like it so much is because it's really reminiscent of Marvel. Movement and your mastery of it in Marvel is imperative to your success. It's the same thing here. What a low parry! You got no damage off of it, though. What a... This Jin's sidesteps are really... Pretty much every single time he has sidestepped, he's gotten paid for it. Just really impressive all around. But yeah, that's another thing that, like, pretty much every character has something, like, what's considered their weak side. So you either dash to their left or to their right, and generally they're weaker toward one or the other. So you want to lean. You don't always want to dash that way because they do have answers to it. Um, but generally, it's just kind of like their strongest tools are weak to one side. That's another thing that I just need to learn. What a hit. Oh, we missed it. Good block. Gets a launch punish, but drop the combo. Ooh, the counter hit, though. There, that's the traditional combo that she usually run. Damn. Just bullying by Fakumam in that round. Fight. The impact of his back 4-4 four four is just insane, and I love it. I'm definitely going to overuse that move, and it's going to get me killed more than once, but I don't care. I love it too much. It's plus on block, though. I don't know why it's plus on block, but it is. The axe kick, and he gets the win because of the wall. I don't really know how that just interacted, but it looked weird. Oh, he gets the wall splat. I'm just kind of surprised that didn't wall splat. Just because it sent him flying toward the wall, and then he just kind of like flew up against it for a while. It's a little, that's a strange interaction for sure. Nice low block again. Both these players are pretty damn good. I mean, of course they're pretty damn good. <laughs> But, like, I will probably never block lows for a while. Like, it's just, it's just gonna take time to become accustomed to, like, the situations where people... Oh, my God, that damn... Could you imagine if he had gotten that last hit? That would have been, like, a 75% health combo. Nice with punish. Didn't get paid. Probably needed a counter hit to get paid for it. Good block of the feint, though. Because that usually... That does go low. I feel like the loading screens are lengthier than the actual matches. <laughs> like, I'm spending more time staring at the loading screen. Maybe it's just because I can actually finally get my thoughts together. Like, I have a moment to breathe. Right. Whereas when the matches are going on, it's just non-stop. It's relentless. Low block again. Like, why would you ever block low there? I don't know. These dudes know. I don't. With punish. Looks like a punish. It's so weird to me. Stuff like that's gonna trip me out for a while. Where like, he goes into a stance animation, but you can block out of it. So it looks like he should have some time for recovery. It looks like he's in the middle of doing something and he should be hittable, but then he just blocks. Stuff like that's gonna really fuck my day up. 50% of his life, just gone. 
disappeared into the wind. Nice hit confirm. Ooh, just barely missed it. I think if he had done the 3 4 4. Is it 3 4 4 or 3 4 3? Like, I have the muscle memory. If I had my stick in front of me, I'd probably be able to just do the rattle out the combo. But I can't remember off the top of my head if it's 3 4 4 or 3 4 3. This gen is real. Like, this gen makes me want to play gen. I've always wanted to, but. I'm just. I'm garbage execution wise in this game so I gotta stick with simplicity for at least a while like the most complex thing I'm gonna be doing and the thing that I need to learn the most is the movement and that's universal for all the I mean it's not really universal there are nuances to each individual character good lord he got his ass kicked uh, there are nuances to each individual character's movement you know like moving as gigas is gonna be very different from moving as Jin. But, in general, the concept is the same. You just have to adjust your timing a little bit. And that's going to be something that's going to uh, help me out with any character that I play, just in the game in general. It's going to be most, one of the most important things I can do. And I need to, you know, not necessarily master it, but at least be comfortable with it before I want to worry about using, like, a super complex character. Also, teching throws. <laughs> I'm still not entirely sure of the timing of how to do that. Nice duck, he saw it coming. One thing that I just bit my tongue. One thing that surprises me a little bit that I don't. I don't I, why don't people fish for magic fours more often? Because I mean, it feels like they're just so strong. Why would you not use the tool? But there's obviously a very good reason because, like, I don't think he's thrown out a four in neutral a single time. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he didn't get the wall splat, but didn't block the low. Round two. Fight. Ducked under the high, got a whiff punish for it. Nice. Little back step right there. Ooh, actually got a throw off. Nice punish. Ooh, the back forward four again. Back, back. Okay, good to know. Looks like his back one is punishable. That's something that I've been using a lot of. But given that I haven't played against an actual person yet that knows things like punishes, so that is launch punishable. It makes sense, because I believe if you land that, you get a full combo, so it should be launch punishable. But still good to know. Sidestep. Ooh, the back forward four again, though. Nice little check right there. Oh, he got hit. He's dead. Damn, this Jin is getting paid with that axe kick, man. That's just it? We're just done? We done? Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right, hang on. I'm, gonna I'm not going to watch this entire... Oh, especially not because it's 43 fucking minutes. But I do want to see me some gigas. I'm invested. I want to see just a couple rounds. Just, you know, Gigas was my first boy. Didn't last very long, because he's a god-awful character. He might be better now, though. I don't know if he actually is. But, like, I've never seen this character in tournament. I've never... I've seen, like, one high-level Korean player rocking him. But it just didn't look like they were having an overall good time. You know? So I just kind of want to see, like, look how slow and... Like, this dude... Just think of the contrast between how goddamn smooth he looked on Jin, and now Gigas just, even when you have your movement on point, it still looks like this motherfucker is standing still. Nice, with punish. Well, of course it is. Nice armor. 
Mix up. Didn't block it. He might be dead. Yeah. That is, um, I think, does he have three options off of it? I can't remember. I'm trying to think. I'm pretty sure he has a high and a mid option, and the high is super safe. So you don't want to get hit by it because Gigas gets a free mix up off of it. But then he also has a mid option, which is what he went for. Got the wall spot. Ooh, that's a nice. Ooh, almost nice con. We dropped it a little bit. It is so. It's so strange. Like after having watched the Jin match, where like, I mean, he just he has so many options, so many things he can do, and then you switch over to Gigas, and he's just kind of like, please do something that I can potentially counter because my character has no good neutral options. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna sneeze. I'm not gonna sneeze. I feel that this is one that I'm gonna be able to hold back, but it's gonna just stay at the front of my nose for like a minute. Yeah, like, honestly, I was so invested in the Jin versus Fakun Ram match. In this match, like, I'm just, I'm kind of bored. I think part of it is just because I, like, I wanted to like Gigas, but I'm over it. I just don't care. Like, the character's just kind of boring. Oh, nice whip punish. Cool combo route though, I've never seen that before. A lot of damage. But it really almost does, it feels almost like I'm watching a completely different game. Just in comparison with like how fast it was, how they were all playing. Ouch. I think she's dead. Okay. It's a good spot to end on. But yeah, that's just... Yeah, Giga sucks. <laughs> Fuck that character. Thank you for watching. I shouldn't... I ruined it a little bit by tuning into this one. But yeah, that j I'm going to be going back. Oh, no, now the sneeze is back. <laughs> well, at least it finally came out. Um, I'm going to be going back to that Jen vs. Fakum Ram match. You know, as I get better, as I get more... As I understand the characters better... It's going to be something I'm going to revisit from time to time, but yeah, it's a, I got a lot of progress to make in Tekken.